All right, the Blue Jays home opener. It is just a few days away. There's going to be a very different vibe when you're watching at Rogers Center this season, especially if you're sitting in that 100 section. The main level gutted in the offseason to add some new sections and provide some better sight lines for all of those fans packing the stadium. Speaking of the stadium, Lindsay Dunn magically appearing here at Rogers Center right now in the middle of all the action. Linz, I am so excited to see what this thing looks like because the hype is it's all the way up there and you've got all the inside scoop. That's right. I'm so excited and I'm excited to show you and our viewers. This is the first look we're getting at the renovated Rogers Center. Of course, this is phase two. Phase one last year, we saw the 500 level completely renovated. They added the Corona rooftop patio, the TD Park show social took out every single seat in the 500 level, made them a little bit roomier and better. But you talked about the 100 bowl. This was all gutted after the last game of the season. We saw the heavy construction work. They did it. You talked about that eyesight level, a big issue. You know, sometimes you'd be sitting beside somebody and you could really only see the back of their head. They're more roomy. You can actually see the game. You can actually see the play of game and it's all been changed. They've even moved it a little bit closer so that the fans are not underneath kind of like the barricades or the overhanging roof from the seats above. It's roomier. It's more of a ballpark feel, which has been a complaint for fans since what 1989 here. This is the most renovations that this ballpark has seen then. And here's a little fun fact I didn't know. I don't think most viewers knew about, but the dugouts, they've moved a little bit further away from home plate. Because this was made to be a multifunctional facility, they do Argos and concerts. The dugouts before were not permanent. So half of the stuff here, they'd have to like run to different parts of uh, behind here to the different clubhouses and stuff to get to the dugout to bring it for the players to use. This bad boy is now permanent. It's bigger. The seats are more comfy and they're going to have anything they could imagine at their hands to use this season when the home opener is here on Monday. And I tell you, just taking this all in, you look at that outfield eye line, which has been an issue people have been talking about. The seats are facing this way. It's just a great time. I cannot wait for Monday. Uh, no doubt, Lynn. So you talked a little bit about how it's going to be different for the fans. You know, what is the expectation going in there? This is going to change everything because I know you also got a sneak peek at food as well. That's right. When we talk about changes about fans, so let's take a look at behind home plate. This is completely different than anything we've ever seen here. This is the premium section. Look at those seats. There's more room and there's the aisles are a little bit shorter. Like, hey, it'd be a 40 row aisle. Now, what is it? 12 seats you only have to walk through. There's cup holders at every seat, not even just the premium one. That's a huge moment. But still, some of the construction is not done behind this area because after they laid the concrete, they had to let it set. There will be three premium lounges and clubs behind here that will be available about midway throughout uh, June. That was something that's already been planned. But if you look at those seats, it's just fantastic. And I had a chance to talk to one of the Jays organization members about how different this season's going to be for fans. As soon as people come in, they're going to notice the huge change. Uh, the fact that the stands are, are different orientation, you go in the right and left field corner, we're actually looking at the infield, we're looking at the uh, pitching mound, where previously you're kind of looking, staring off into center field. The other thing is because they're tr the one of the goals was to get everybody more into the action, the seats were brought in, the foul territory was reduced significantly. If you're looking at just the green portion of the field, we actually reduced that by about 9,000 square feet compared to, compared to last year. Yeah, so Tom talking about that field level there and the foul zone when you're looking at those seats there, they were only facing center field for the longest time. Now they actually face home plate so you can watch hopefully Bo or George or maybe Justin Turner hit a home run or maybe a couple during a game. So it's completely renovated. It is now actually a ballpark and I cannot wait for fans to take it in and take in the new food that I also tried today. Oh <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a little sneak peek of that a little bit later on as well. Lindsay, thank you so much for this preview. Go Jays, go! Go Jays! <laughs>